The custom slideshow feature allows you to create a custom show based upon any of the slides in the original presentation or the one that I have here for example. You can see down below on the status bar I've got a total of 17 slides. So let's say that I'm presenting to a lot of groups and I have three different types of groups when it comes to let's say a product. I have my beginners, advanced, and intermediate. Now I created this presentation based upon this product but I don't want to have to delete some of the slides for the beginners because they don't care about the intermediate or advanced features of this product and then be able to rearrange it for the intermediate and advanced. Instead, create it for the entire product and use the custom slideshow feature. So that way, if during like let's say the beginner presentation, if all of a sudden they become advanced on me and they like, hey, we know about this stuff, you don't have to open up another file because you already have the two other custom slideshows in the presentation along with the beginners. You'll have the intermediate and advanced and however many custom slideshows you want. So to set this up, come up here and click on the slideshow tab, go to the start slideshow group, and there it is, custom slideshow. Click on it, go down to custom shows. Now we don't have any right now, we're starting from scratch, click on new, and it lists all of these slides in your current presentation. So the generic name is custom show one, but remember I have three different types of groups. Let's do this, delete it, and make it for the beginners. And the beginners will be using slides one, let's keep it simple, one through seven. Then click add. Once you add them over here, you can reorder them. So if I take slide seven and move it up, it still retains its original numbering from the original presentation. So even though it's slide six in this custom presentation, it's still slide seven from the original. So that way you can go, oh, even though I want to bump it up, if I want to remember what it originally was, well, it's right there, slide seven. So select it and bump it back down so it's number seven within the custom presentation. Then go ahead and click OK. So you got beginners. Let's go ahead and add another one. Click new and we'll do eight. Let's scroll down. Twelve, click add. Let's change the name. And then you can reorder them. You can delete them. Click OK. Let's do one more new. We'll do, and then of course the remaining slides within the presentation. Heck, you can even add something from the beginning to remind them what this product we're discussing is all about, of course. And then go ahead and click Add. And then click OK. So, if you go ahead and you close out of here, and you're on site, you're giving a presentation, just open up your original file, and when you're ready to give the presentation, and let's say it's for the intermediate group, then come up here on the Slideshow tab, go to the Start Slideshow group, click on Custom Slideshows, and there you go. You have your Beginners, Intermediate, Advanced. When you click on Intermediate, it starts the slideshow. So how many slides do we have in our intermediate? I think it was four or five. We'll go through until we hit, oh, there we go. It's the end, then click, and we're done. So if during the presentation, you're like, yeah, yeah, we already know about that stuff, then hey, not a problem. You don't have to open up another file or hide some of this or try to guess where the advanced part starts. Just come up here, click on the drop down arrow, go to advance. Starts from slide one. Of course, we added that, so in case if they forgot what product we're talking about, then click to go through the rest of the slides. Then click on the drop down arrow. Let's go back to custom shows and you can remove them. So if you want to get rid of beginners and intermediate and you like the advance and you want that, but you want to tweak it, select it, copy it, and then you can select that, edit that, update it to call it maybe advanced number two, and then make your changes here, remove some slides, update it, click okie dokie, and then you've got your shows.